so embarrassingly enough while my video was uploading I I deleted I freaking on the walking dead footage I've heard enough out of you okay Doug now what the fuck's the oh. problem no oh what the fuck that was kind of different. Was trying to protect all of us. That's cool. Oh, shit, she's stealing the RV. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, y'all keep going on like this, and that girl. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Why would you do that? <laughs> I just made him do everything. I like the opposite of the way I did it. To know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! What the fuck? Ah! I'm weak. Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I do? Who the fuck? I don't know. I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. Yeah, so, as you can see, I'm just playing through like the first 30 minutes. I'm so glad I did it in parts, which is crazy because usually I just play the whole thing through. I don't know why I deleted it. I wasn't thinking. So yeah, sorry. Well, this doesn't really affect you. You still get in the video. Good for you, I guess. But I gotta play this shit again. So, yeah. Literally, the other parts are rendering as we speak. Yeah, this well, y'all be all right, man. She wearing different clothes. It's no big deal for real. She's cute. That's fine. Can't I just hold it? I'm gonna just pick the same shit I picked before. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the river from? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Been on his dick. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Leaky that watch on them. Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? <sighs> Hello? Hello? I said answer me. I said answer me. <laughs> Was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. The boy Charles. Ah! 
Everybody, run! That's, that's low-key like a bio or some shit. That's not for whom the bell tolls. Kitty! Too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! I can't believe you did that shit, man. Force that open, not without making a lot of noise at least. Space. Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio control. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's Barry down there? I'll let Clem watch this time. It's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey, come sit with me in our need. Let Lee work. Just for her to get. <laughs> oh, God, the smell. Must have belonged to someone. What? Obviously. I can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? That's so icky. So nasty. You already for Starfield? I got that shit. I'm not rich though, so I didn't get the yes! the order God that's damn. like you know. They get unless you play it a week early. See anything in there? <sighs> Looks like it's been empty a while. One day. One day. What are you gonna do? Do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. Next purchase okay. is gonna be a camera. Here, let me try. I think I can. Clem, what do you see in there? Ta -da! She's so cute. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? 
My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Your leg wouldn't even be in that predicament okay if you'd have just here. jumped. Everybody in. How do you fuck up that bad? I still can't believe you did that shit. <laughs> oh man. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. Bro, what does it fucking matter? Us on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Shut the fuck Great. up, god damn. <laughs> Who gives a shit about the damn radio? Exactly! I'm worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. I don't know who it was. All I know is they're no friend of ours. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. Uh, we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Okay, then... We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> all right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. This was the first door I checked last what time. Happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Uh, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Uh, just some whiskey. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clementine. Nigga just start yelling. You want an answer? It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I, I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Ben has a good voice actor, though. Kenny said he thought he heard something. To go look. He's up there. I can't get him to come down. Stay here.
Kenny. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. Shit's still fucked up, man. <laughs> I can't ask you to do this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. should bury him. I'll take care of it. Going on. I didn't say that last time. 
saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. <laughs> Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Uh, I don't want to stay here. I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I thought that would've made her stay anyway. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Bruh. You're useless. <laughs> That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. Oh, I shit. You're just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Lee! Oh. Seems different. Part. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. We're fucked, man. Totally fucked. Are you sure about that? look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... This motherfucker here, bro. He always, like, ultimatums. Like, what the fuck? He's a hothead. Man, I'm rednecks. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm you a give me a captain, fucking break. A miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Still... Paper dollars Fuck. that are worth nothing. 
What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. Goof ass. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Straight to where I need to be. What the hell? Get down! Get down! Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. How this bitch ended up walking around like she did. Ah. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I misclicked last time. The Clint? bitch the bitch got off on me. Bruh. I was about to say, don't fucking move. You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Mind if I get up? Slowly. Smash. Kenny, don't! <laughs> this nigga here, bruh. No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No. I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Tells me to call out to. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. <laughs> Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survive. All the 
rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these birds? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here. Find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped him for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? <laughs> Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Isn't that the... the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... You just gonna let her go? Right. Hey, you can't just leave us here! Really? Watch! No! Please! Please don't leave us! Make it fast! Ah, oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Open. 
Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. Footage gathered. Part two coming soon. We up.